right viewers Le ho, ni hao, sing chao, bonjour, hola, namaste, konnichiwa and all that greatness Anyways, welcome to Chicken Couches And yes, you're now joining me at the Clearwater Bay Country Park in Hong Kong because it's amazing Yes, and behind me is a 2009 Renault Clio Mark III RS 300 and it has a trick up its sleeve. <laughs> yes, people, it's got a custom exhaust but acroprofic or acroprofic or something according to the official pronunciation. But hey, 7 kg saved, carbon fiber rims, and extra pops. This car's been fitted with the Renault Cup chassis, it means that everything's a lot stiffer, so the ride's a bit more direct, you're more connected to the road, so it's the steering and everything. But that's not the only thing that sets it apart from any other old Clio's out there. It has Bramble brakes in four corners, it's got four pistons calipers in the front, two in the back, Momo steering wheel, that's actually an aftermarket touch by the owner himself. He decided to die like a real man proudly, so 100% respect to that bro there. Nebra green stickers in the back to give it an extra few brake horsepower. Also, it comes with two optional Recaro seats straight from the factory, designed for the Renault Sport. So now we can just basically focus on the driving and riding and let the car do the mechanical stuff by turning horsepower and sound into a lot of fun. And as we know, for things to become truly great, it takes time. Let's wind back to year 1993. Back then, Renault used to supply engines to the Williams F1 team, whom dominated the scene that year and so Renault decided to collaborate with them and to celebrate their success of their engineering by introducing the Renault Clio Williams. 150 brake horsepower, it doesn't sound like a lot by modern standards but it was plenty back in the days, even for now. 0-60 takes like around 7.6 seconds if I remember correctly. But yeah, it was very lightweight, it was sharp around corners and people just want more and more of them because they're such fun to drive. And then the second generation came along. We've got the 172, 172 Cup, 182, 182 Cup, 182 Trophy, and now the third generation. It's always an industry benchmark, the one that everyone looks up to when it comes to hot hatches. It has been handpicked by Evil Magazine as a car of choice since 2012, and even more appropriately, described by Car Magazine as the Porsche 911 GT3 RS of the hot hatches. So it does make his ancestors proud. Whoa! You see the RS200 red lines at 7,500 RPM and it does suggest something here. Renault does look into the future when they built a car. And from the future. And let me explain. Because if you've seen a film, Ford vs Ferrari, uh, that's a cracking film, or if you're American or international viewer, it's called Le Mans 66. That film with Christian Bale and Matt Damon in there, 7,000 RPM go like hell. It definitely applies to this car. A snap second, with that NA engine, it goes. You don't have to wait for any turbo lag, any build up of the turbo. It does have that sort of like VTEC feel to it because it has that sort of like a fast cam. It changes sound, it kicks. Now let's speak to the guy behind the wheel. And if you've enjoyed this video so far, 
please smash the like button and also subscribe to stay tuned for more exclusive car content. I'm doing this all for you guys, so keep watching and also share with your mates if you feel like it. Cheers. And next to me is the owner, Mark. Flywheel,駕駛那方面有沒有東西是不喜歡的車是要低調的 講個driving experience,同人都是即係話古怪,你2CV啊,即係出場嗰啲呢,知識條龍嗰啲都係古怪嘅,咁但係佢都係即係有時呢啲叫attention的details啦,即係細小微微小嘅嘢,好似從意大利嗰
即係俾咗十個 percent 開咗開咗十個 percent 啦，跟住踩盡佢咧又得八十個 percent。What's that? Feels like how plastic well it is, but you know the German could have done it a lot better. 覺得依個蒙古戇鳩。我覺得你可以一揸落係搖到嘅喎，我呢個仲深，佢仲要你明唔明啊？咧佢嘅設計呢啲門咁重，你擺喺前面，你點樣掹三門啊？其實 way saving 嚟嘅啫。O K， 佢又唔係唔耐用嘅，佢 engine 其實佢算係好耐用嘅 engine 嚟嘅，一四啊或者你咁咁其實佢冇咩小問題，佢小問題就係佢掛啲好奇怪嘅問題咯。而家 feel 到係唔夠力嘅。O K。唔知冷氣好難做，即係補嗰下咧，你踩落去咧，佢哋咁樣，真係真係好奇怪的，我唔知點樣講。我除咗冷氣啊，我補一下又係咁樣嘅，咁、嗯、啊！但係如果我即係而家真係成頭先開咗，嗯，我唔知點樣講，即係咁樣踩落去咧，我要踩耐啲咯，好細微，係啊，係就係嗰少少咯。嗯，你嗰下可能會炒噶嘛，如果你。咁你其實你你你劈緊都唔會開冷氣嘅，你唔會嘅，搞槍嗰啲先就開開條罅咁樣有得佢啊嘛，開小槍，開小槍啦咁就，爆得好離譜，不過好中意。sums up what I feel about this car and what the owner because he's you know he's done a great job when it comes to explaining his pride and joy that's it please subscribe and like my video because it means a lot to me and I hope that you really enjoy what you've seen um, and I would say you know thank you so much for watching see you on the next one